I have been waiting for this package for so long. Look at this box. If you've seen literally any of my videos, you would know that I am a stationary lover and I specifically love the Pentel Energel pen. I use it every single day in my daily journaling. So when the CEO of Pentel saw my videos and wanted to work with me, I felt like my dreams were coming true. So first of all, thank you to Pentel so much for sponsoring today's video. Second of all, they sent me this giant package of lots of stationery. The stationery lover in my heart is literally going to explode. And third of all, Pentel is actually doing something called Pentel Week. It's from March 19th to 25th. And basically there's just going to be a bunch of exclusive deals on Amazon and the Pentel website. And I am very, very excited to be working with Pentel throughout Pentel Week. So you'll be seeing a lot of fun content on my platforms. And make sure you stay to the end of this video for a very exciting announcement. For now, we are going to get into the unboxing. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have to put this on right now. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Wait, I love this. And we got a fanny pack. That makes me so happy. I am really gonna be rocking the Pentel swag. I'm getting kind of warm. I'm gonna take this off underneath. Ooh, that is much better. I really don't even know where to start. But the first thing that I am seeing are these signed pen brush pens. I actually have some of these already, but not in these colors. And I love the signed pens. These are some of my favorite small hand lettering brush pens, if not my favorites. Let's go ahead and swatch. I do really love this color palette. And then real quick, I'll show you how they can letter. I definitely recommend these for beginners, especially for hand lettering, since they're just super easy to control. These look so cool. Look at these pens. First impressions, these are super duper light. I do wish there was a bit more color variety just because I love colored pens, so I like having a lot of options. But I'm mostly interested to see if they glide while they write, since they're called Glide Write. So let's swatch. They definitely did glide. I feel like it just feels very light and airy while you write, which I feel like fits very well with how light this feels in my hand. I will say they're not my favorite overall, but I do like them. I'm so interested to see what this is, but first I'm gonna grab this. Oh, look at all of these colors. There are so many. Colored pens will always have a special place in my heart. I'm very excited for the color variety of these. This is what the pen looks like. There's like a gold little ring here around the base, which I actually really like. I feel like it adds a nice touch. I noticed that these four have an opaque top here. I'm not really sure why that is. You can see that like these ones are transparent. The rest of them have that transparent top. Here are all the colors up close. Pentel always impresses me with their yellows. I really like this color variety. The colors are just so vibrant and pretty. And I was also pleasantly surprised by the thickness of the ink. Personally, I like a thick ink. I think this blue color is so beautiful. Probably my favorite one of all of them. I feel like all Pentel products just write so smoothly. As much as this color variety is so beautiful, I do think that these opaque ones all look very similar, but the rest of the colors are so beautiful. And then look at all of these brush pens. Look at that. Oh, how does this work? Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, the color is gonna come out. That is very satisfying. First, let's swatch them. It's very pretty. Yeah, these are messy. They're very fun, but hard to control for sure. I feel like this is definitely for something more artsy.
These are interesting for sure. I was expecting them to be more like brush pens, but they're honestly more like paint pens, which is fine. I just have never used those before. You're supposed to be able to use them on darker paper, and that's why they're like the dual metallic brush. I don't have any black paper, but I was going to try it on these two. Alright, so here you can see the different colors. These are very inky, definitely like those paint pens. They didn't bleed through on these pages though. I feel like these would be really fun to use with kids. I'm surprised with how well the color shows up on the colored paper, especially this pink one. You can definitely get the like brush stroke look. Definitely hard to control. You can see that the tip of it when you push down kind of frays apart. I want to see if they like blend together though. Ooh, okay, I will say that is very pretty. You gotta admit, that's kind of beautiful. That is very pretty. They do blend very well. All right, I'm excited for this one. This just looks so cool. Oh, there's two of them. I don't know what they are, but I'm excited about them. Let's open them up. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now show us how you make it pop. I don't know why there's a dog on it, but I'm not complaining because the dog is adorable. So these are sparkly ones. These ones look like they're like these neon opaque ones. Solar pop. These are sparkle pop. So we got sparkle pop, solar pop, and then milky pop. So these are like pastels. I do already have the sparkle pop on, so I know what to expect with those, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all for you. We're gonna start out with the Milky Pop, very pastel. These are beautiful. I love these so much. Next, we got the Solar Pop. And now we have the Sparkle Pop. Alright, so this is what they all look like. You can barely see the white there. I love the pastel ones and the solar pop ones are very vibrant. And then the sparkle ones, I did these little color blobs so that you could see like the two-toned of the glitter. Very pretty, very fun. These pens just look fun and I love the vibrant colors. And real quick, let's just see what the white looks like. Oh, so pretty. I love me a good white pen. It shows up so well. I want to see what the white looks like on top of black. So this is just a black sign pen that I already have. I should probably give it more time to dry. I mean, it definitely shows up, but I didn't really wait for it to dry. I'm gonna try it here. Oh yeah, that shows up. I feel like every time though I use a white pen on black, I always have to go over it a couple times. Like I have to wait for it to dry because it like lightens up. I've yet to find a white pen that stays that bright, bright white. <sighs> this is seriously like Christmas. It's like better than Christmas because it's just full of stationery. I have more sparkle pens. You can never have enough glitter. So these are the same Sparkle Pop pens as before, so I'm not going to swatch them since I just showed you, but just wanted to point out that they list out the little dual metallic colors here. And I don't have black paper to try it on, but we can try it on the dark paper real quick. This white is so impressive. I have a feeling it'll be pretty similar to these colors, if not the same. Definitely very similar to these colors, but I am just so impressed how well they show up on the colored paper. Okay, I see more of the sign pens, so I'm gonna go for those. There's also two of them. Look at how pretty these colors are though. So excited for these. And I also love how the pens are like lightly shimmery. I'm gonna swatch them next to the sign pens from earlier. Oh, wow, I just love the sign pens. I literally already have the sign pens. These ones here are like a more harder tip and you can tell just because the pen itself is not super shimmery. But then these ones, they have that little shimmer in there and those have the more flexible point. Oh, I'm so excited to have more colors too. What is this? There's two of them. Oh, oh my gosh, these are dry erase markers. I didn't even know Pentel had dry erase markers. I don't have a whiteboard here, but when I like study at the library, we use dry erase markers and stuff to like get some studying in sometimes. That'll come in handy. Okay, wow. This is impressive. It's like its own little eraser and holder all in one. This is so cool. I don't have a whiteboard with me. For now, I'm gonna just swatch them on paper. Don't hate me. I mean, pretty solid. They seem like the standard dry erase marker colors. And I guess if they like are running out of ink, you just pump them. Oh, and so it'll send more ink to it. That's kind of nice. And they don't leak. Oh wait, you put the cap on here and then you pump it. Oh, pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's so cool. If only I could erase it. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these. These are ginormous. I literally better be able to erase all of my life's mistakes with these giant erasers. It's like as big as my face. Wow. This would last you forever. I remember these erasers being the ones that everyone would fight over and if you had one of these people would always want to use them because they are just so good. This one is crazy big. I'm used to the smaller ones. I actually do have a smaller one. I just got this the other day because they are the best erasers and I love the pencil top erasers as well. I think it's so funny to have a giant one. I swear I use these pencil top erasers on all of my pencils. They're the best. Let's test this giant eraser. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like having a giant one, it's kind of hard to control, honestly. But if you're wanting to erase a lot quick, you could like be super efficient. Now we got some oil pastels. Hmm. You know, I've never used oil pastels before, but I guess there's a first for everything. I'm just gonna swatch them like crayons. And if I'm doing something terribly wrong, someone please let me know. I don't know if you like do it like this or like this or if it matters. They definitely remind me of crayons. Since I'm not familiar with oil pastels, I feel like I can't really give my fair two cents. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to play around with them some more. I'm so interested to see what these are. I've literally never ever seen anything like this. Oh, they're like pencils. I love that. Oh my gosh. So good. Very interesting packaging for this. But I mean, I'm not complaining because that was just so fun. So I guess this is a little mechanical pencil. A very fancy one, might I add. I definitely don't know pencils as well as like pens and whatnot, but it seems pretty good. It looks super cool. It has a cool grip too. But yeah, I really don't know what else to say about it. Got some more boxes too. Ooh. That is a fancy pen. Ooh. These pens just look and feel fancy. They're definitely heavier, and I just love the color of this blue one and the gold detailing. It reminds me of Cinderella. And then there's this one, the black one. I like these metal pens, very pretty. I wanna see how they write. And just twist it and take off this. Oh my gosh, they're both black ink. Ooh, this feels so fancy. I love the weight of it. It just, it feels very satisfying. I feel like Pentel just has superior ink. Got some fun pencils. Look how pretty these are. You guys know I'm not a pencil girly when it comes to writing in my journals, but I definitely do use pencil when I am like doing some sort of like hand lettering stuff. I'll typically sketch out what I'm writing or drawing first and then I'll go over it in pen, especially if I'm doing it in like a bullet journal. These are so pretty. Definitely not big into pencils like I've said before, but I mean, come on, these are beautiful. I will say though, if I'm gonna have a pencil, I really don't like these eraser tops just because I feel like they run out very easily. Oop, they're just so small. There are obviously like the big erasers or like pencil top erasers that you can put on other pencils, just like a standard little mechanical pencil. Very cool that it's metal and it is very aesthetic and light. Look at this pink pen. This is so stinking cute. This might have to top the pearl barrel i love the pearl barrel it is my favorite pen but a pink one i didn't even know they made pink ones superior quality this is beautiful pink is my favorite color so this is just amazing it's metal very light oh that is super easy to push this just writes like a normal Energel, but it gets so many bonus points because it's pink. Just look at how stunning that is. Now we have these pigment ink pens. They come in a bunch of different sizes. This reminds me of like Micron pens, but they kind of look like the Le Pens. It's like a combination of those. I'm excited to try these. 0.05 millimeters, that is teeny tiny. Ooh. Very excited for these and the range of sizes that it comes in. I love using these kinds of pens for my bullet journaling. And I love that it has the size on the cap as well. And it's like ingrained in so it's not going to rub off like they do on Micron pens, which is nice. 
I really like these. They write really smoothly. This one is so teeny tiny. What is this one? Ooh. Oh, we got two of these. Just kidding. There's actually three. Four. Four of these. Mechanical pencils. These are pretty cool pencils, I have to say. The grip feels really nice. I really like that, actually. Love that it comes with extra lead and extra erasers. And I mentioned on that other pencil that I don't like the small eraser, so I love that these are, like, twistable and there's so much eraser. I actually really like these. And I mean, it just writes like a normal pencil. That's the thing about pencils is I feel like you really just gotta focus on like if it looks good and if it feels good when you write it. But as for actually writing, it's all the same. I'm very interested to see what this is. This looks really fancy. Anti-breaking lead system. It has a metal grip. Whoa. Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. Okay, and not good. <laughs> Can I take this sticker off? So you just click it once and that's it. And then you write with it? That feels wrong. <laughs> Cause there's like, you can't visibly see any lead, but I guess we'll try it out. It's got the eraser. I do believe that Pentel like has replacements of these. Oh my gosh, wait, you can slide this down. So you have a little bit more eraser. Still not a ton, but better than what I thought it was. Okay, so we're gonna do one click and try writing. Oh. Interesting. This feels weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it definitely works. It just feels strange. I'm not used to that. I guess it's just to like help protect the lead. Oh, we got some highlighters. Got some pretty colors. So apparently these highlighters have refills, which is really nice to help reduce waste. A lot of Pentel products actually have refills, including the Pentel Energel pens, which I use all the time. So I definitely need to start using those refills. The colors are very pretty. I love this orange, it's so vibrant. I do wish there was a green though. I feel like if there was a green and maybe a purple, I would be in love. But the colors that are here, very pretty. And they write very smoothly. Also this click is just such a satisfying sound. Let's try it over like black ink. Oh, that is so nice. That's so pretty, I love that. And there's no smudge. And last but not least, probably one of my favorite things in this whole box, if not the favorite thing of mine. The pencil and the gel pens, all of the colors. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You guys know I love these ones. Look how pretty they are, first of all. The pens themselves are beautiful. I love the display of the packaging. I use the Energel pens in my daily journaling. The color variety of these just cannot be beat. I did an entire video on these pens before working with Pentel. Seriously, love them so much. Oh, looks so good. There is just such a wonderful range of colors and the pens themselves are just so aesthetically pleasing. I love them. Now I can have some for school, some at home. I can give them away. I'm actually doing a giveaway with Pentel. So five of you will be winning these pens, which are my favorite colored pens of all time. The specifics of the giveaway will be on my Instagram and the winner is gonna be announced on my 21st birthday, which is March 22nd in the smack dab middle of Pentel week. And I'm so excited to be able to just give back to you guys by winning some of my favorite pens. So make sure to go and enter on Instagram. I wanted to say a huge thank you again to Pentel for sending me all of this stuff and for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in any of these products, they'll all be linked down below as well as the information for Pentel Week and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!